Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I curl my hair using my straightener. Curling your hair with a straightener has tons of benefits. For one, you only have to pack one tool whenever you're traveling. So instead of packing a straightener and a curling iron, you could just use your straightener. I also love the um, effortless waves that this gives you. It takes a ton of practice to be able to use your straightener as a curling iron. I've been working at this now for about a year and it's just now that I feel really comfortable maneuvering the tool and actually being able to get the type of curl that I want. I would definitely say it's easier if you have shorter hair, it's not as much to work with. I cut my hair a little over a year ago, um, about to my chin, and it was much easier to learn how to do curls and waves with my straightener. If you have a protective glove that you maybe received with your straightener or with another curling iron, definitely put that on whenever you're starting out doing this. It'll make it so much easier, you'll feel much more comfortable knowing that your hands are protected. So the first step whenever I'm going to curl my hair with my straightener is I like to brush through my hair, just make sure that I don't have any um, big knots in it because that is really going to make it difficult. Once I've totally brushed my hair, I like to section it off into three different sections as I move up my head. This just makes things more manageable and then you can be sure that you don't miss any parts of your hair. So I grab my hairband and I section off the first section. I'm going to take the straightener and I like to run it through the hair a few times, away from the face, and pull. So you can see that leaves you with more of a bend than a tight curl. So another time, again we like the ones that are closest to our face to go away from the face. I'm only taking pieces that are maybe half an inch thick. Again, going through it, taking it in the tool, taking my hand into the position that I want it to be in, and then just pulling it down the hair. So I like to grip it right below where the ceramic part stops, so you can see. That way your hand doesn't get hot. Like I said, this is an effortless style, so you don't have to hit every single piece of your hair. Um, it's meant to look messy, it's meant to look undone, so don't worry if you don't get every single piece, you're not even going to be able to tell. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the next section of my hair. So if you really want an undone type of look, the key is to go different directions. So like I said, you always want to start by going away from your face. So that would be this way and this way. But as you work your way back, you should alternate. You should also start doing your bend at different places on the hair. So for this one, we are going to start up here, do our bend and pull. Now, as I go to this next section, I'm going to keep it the same way, but I'm going to start it at a different point. So, I'm going to come down here and do my pull. So again, that means that up here you can see the curl started, and down here you can see the curl started. So that's going to give you the different dimensions throughout your hair. For this next one, I'm going to go a different direction. So I'm going to start and go this way. So I went this way, now I'm going this way. And I'm just going to quickly do the methods that we have talked about. So after I'm done doing my entire bit of hair, I just give it some sprays. This is how it looks after I curl my hair with my straightener. 
As you can see, it's super messy, it's undone, but this is my favorite way to wear my hair every single day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and be sure to subscribe down below. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!